Five people are recovering this morning after being shot at a quinceañera, a birthday party for a 15-year-old Latina. It happened around 8.30 last night at a banquet hall on Lancashire in North Hollywood. Witnesses say the suspects had been turned away from the party earlier, returned and opened fire on people standing outside the party. The banquet hall security guard and four partygoers were wounded. Three are hospitalized in stable condition and one is in stable but critical condition. The fourth was released. Everybody was on the table sitting down eating like normal, you know, and I just, just hear everybody start panicking, just hear gunshots all over the place. And I just hear everybody running, ducking under the tables. Police are searching for the suspects who are possible gang members. They were driving a silver colored Honda. This week, the FDA approved a patch for kids with ADHD. It makes it easier for kids to get their medication, and some believe it helps with the timing or release of the drug. But not everyone thinks the patch is such a great idea. Some doctors are concerned that more kids may be prescribed a drug they don't really need. They point out that today, one out of every 10 12-year-olds are on ADHD medicine, and experts worry about their future as adults. We simply don't know in the long run whether these children are going to have sustained hypertension, that is high blood pressure as adults, or whether they will develop heart failure as adults. Dr. Nissen and many of his colleagues feel kids should only be given ADD drugs as a last resort. More bloodshed today in the fight for Iraq. Police say a car bomb exploded in Mahmoudiyah, killing at least 10 people and injuring 25 others. In Baghdad, at least six people are dead, killed in a pre-dawn raid by U.S. troops looking for an al-Qaeda suspect in a safe house. Five American troops were injured, but not seriously. Also in Baghdad, a bomb hidden in a shopping bag blew up on a minibus, killing at least three passengers and wounding six others. Elsewhere, police found the bodies of three men handcuffed, and gunmen opened fire on a group of people south of Kirkuk, killing two civilians. Afghani officials say police killed 14 insurgents when dozens of Taliban attacked two police highway checkpoints. Police say it happened late last night, 60 miles northeast of Kandahar, and that no officers were killed. But a purported Taliban spokesman is taking the blame for the attack and says at least seven police officers were killed. There's been no independent verification of that claim. Now, George, what's truly amazing is that even during Vietnam, we never saw retired generals speaking like this about the Secretary of Defense. This is truly unique. Not like this. You're exactly right, Carlos. What we've seen here is that every general who actually served